I tried to have my engagement ring resized and the jewelry store turned me away because I have a fake ring, so I told my fiancé to confess or we wouldn't be having a wedding. My fiancé proposed on Christmas, and everything was perfect. The ring was a bit too big, though, and I just hit my goal weight, so I figured I'd have it sized correctly. I've been holding off because I wanted to ensure I was the correct size after losing the weight. The ring box says Tiffany and Company and I was literally over the moon with it. I told him he shouldn't have spent this much on me, but he said he wanted to get me the blue box. I go into Tiffany's to have it sized because my friend told me I should only have them work on my ring. They take the ring and ask me for my fiancé's info to look up in their system. They can't find it and she takes the ring in the back. The manager comes back a little while after and says that this isn't a Tiffany & Co ring and shows me there's no engraving inside. I go home. And my first thought is that he probably bought it pre-loved and he got duped. He comes home from work and I ask him where he got the ring from. He said Tiffany and Company at, location name. I flat out asked him if he got it used online, and it was okay if he did. He flipped out and said no, it was new from the store. I fessed up and told him what happened with the sizing. He flipped out and said I was checking up on him, snooping for the price, etc. I was firm and said no, I just wanted it resized, and they told me it was not from their company. He said that they were wrong and he got it there. He told me that I should have consulted him, and he would have had it sized for me and that it felt like I'm going behind his back. I'm confused by this because I thought it was a simple task that I didn't need him for. Anyway, he won't really talk about where he got the ring and is only saying that he will size it and take the ring. I know this is wrong, but I checked his tablet this morning when he went to work to see if I could find any information. His Amazon was still logged in, and I found my ring on there, actually two of them. The first one was bought on December 2nd and beyond words. Not that it's not a Tiffany ring but that he was playing me with a $6 ring. After, he purchased a minibar and an OLED TV for himself on Black Friday. I can't believe I went into Tiffany's with a $5 ripoff. I'm mortified. Edit again. So I texted him the link while he was at work. He called me two seconds later and asked me what was happening. I said I went on his iPad because I had to use it, and he left the browser on it. Little lie on my part. I told him I didn't care about the ring but was devastated at the lies. I told him if he didn't tell me the truth right now and why he did it I'd be getting a hotel and he wouldn't see me when he got home. He started crying saying that he felt like he needed to get me the best but he couldn't afford it. I said but you could afford the 3k on your stuff. He said the smallest Tiffany ring is at least $5,000 which I doubt is true I'm sure it's cheaper but whatever and that he just wanted to get me a stand-in until he saved up. I told him I didn't even need the Tiffany ring. He could have bought a $200 14k gold band at Macy's. Instead, he spent money on a box and two fake rings. He then confessed and said that he got the box from his friend who proposed with a Tiffany ring years ago and the wife doesn't need the boxes. I hung up. I texted him that I needed some space and time and would go stay at a hotel to just chill for a day. Update, I am still staying in a hotel, I don't have any close friends or family nearby, and I've met with a lawyer to help me sell my half of our house. He decided the relationship wasn't salvageable because I aired our dirty laundry on the internet and it got popular with the media. I'll be leaving my job in a week to move back home with my family. Unfortunately, this has put me in a financial bind but it's better than staying with my ex at this point. I'm glad he ended it because maybe I was too much of a coward too. The ring was just a symptom of the problem. I guess you don't want to commit financially to an expensive ring when you know that the person doesn't mean all that much to you.